Hello and welcome to Ether Authority. So this video, denial of service attack. This attack really ruined the smart contract. It also can make the smart contract absolutely useless. So let's get started. What is the denial of service attack? An attempt of a hacker to manipulate the smart contract function such that it becomes unavailable to other users so if i can give you an example if in a restaurant there is a long queue some customers are making some trouble into the queue and which makes other users genuine users which they are not able to check out or pay for their services so this is how the denial of service attack happens in the smart contract there are many other variations of the smart contract uh, this denial of service attack so for example there are one is like a loop but there is an intensive loop into the smart contract then it will actually make it it becomes the array size becomes so large that after some time the entire smart contract become absolutely useless for the other users that's the one the one i'm talking about in this video is so serious that it really can ruin the smart contracts and we have observed that vulnerability in many smart contracts so let's get started all right so in this code i'll give just quick demonstration of how this attack can be carried out and how we can track it okay so the typical example is the auction smart contract these are also uh, been observed in other smart contracts like lottery and other games but ideally this is observed mainly in auction smart contracts so if i can show you in the code this is a simple smart contracts for auction so this is the address variable this is the highest bid variable and in the bid function this is the typical it might be complex than this but this is the typical bid functions where it requires the message dot value which is the ether amount should be the higher than the highest bid then second thing is require current ladder leader means the one who is the current uh, leading the bid so whoever is the current one which is the in the case of the one calling this example this function it will be the previous bidder so the previous bidder get the refund of his amount all right and then this message dot sender becomes the current leader okay and the highest bid becomes the message dot this is the logic of typical uh, bid function of a typical option smart contract all right in natural scenario it works perfectly so i can just uh, deploy it quickly so i will show you first the ideal scenario so in ideal scenario if you can deploy this smart contract and in here i can place a bid but I have to let's say uh, put the one V okay just for example purpose so if I can place a bid it works without any problem if you can see what is the current leader uh, then this is the address and highest bid is one but this is the ideal scenario now if let's say someone comes and they also starts you know bidding with one all right so if I can go here put one V and try to bid then again it will it will not let me in because the required condition is message dot value should be higher than the highest bit so i have to put two and press a bit and it works no problem all right let's step it up now let's start our attack pattern so let's go to the create some small smart contract which has one um, you know, definition smart contracts and then this is the attack smart contract attack smart contract has two things one is the one function attack function which basically calls the bid function of the victim smart contract and there is a payable function so it basically revert so whenever the ether comes to the smart contract it will revert um, if this is this is where it's also work or another way is if you can remove this fallback payable function then also it will work 
but I, for this demonstration I'll just kept it and I will revert it so anytime this smart contract will receive the ether it will revert okay and this attack smart contract will have the address which is the the bid or victim contract address which will be called and the bid function will be called with the value of message dot value whichever the value I passed here will be forwarded to this bid function okay this is the simple form of attack contract this could be even more complex but this is for the demonstration purpose it's simple ah, now let me do it quickly smart contract We have to pass this one victim smart contract address and then attack it won't work because we are not passing any uh, ether because it needs the ether which is higher than the previous all right let's pass it like 3v let's say 4 okay there you go see smart contract call is successful now now this smart contract is current bidder or leader of his auction smart contract so if you can see this is the contract address last is 836 right if you can go to the auction smart contract and check previously it was this which is my previous address but if i can go to current leader it becomes 836 which is the smart contract of attack hash bid is four now the real magic starts here once this attack contract do this then any genuine customers or users comes and place a bid genuinely it won't work let me try one so the highest one currently is four and let me place it with a five and i'm a genuine user calling the bid function genuinely yeah you go. i will not be able to do that why reason is very simple what it does is when a user call this function it basically refunds the ether to the previous bidder or previous users. In, in our case, the previous user is the attack smart contract. And when the ether goes to our attack smart contract, it reverts. Making this the bid function becomes really unavailable for all the users. Right. And this will make the attackers to win the bid all the times and preventing all other users from placing the bid. We have observed this kind of attacks in many smart contracts, many auction smart contracts. So we, um, you know, really suggest any developer watching this video be very careful. Anytime the ether is being passed to any wallet, make sure is there any possibility of being that wallet as a contract address from the user? if it is so then there is a chance of dos attack make sure in this case prevention if we can talk we can prevent any smart contracts from calling this function right that's the one solution if it is really doesn't i mean it is really not possible then there should be any other types of filtering method methodology should be applied to make sure the users are the genuine and they are not any attack users, attackers users. So I hope this video will be very helpful to the community. And uh, if you have any questions about security audit or any question about related security, kindly visit the etherauthority.io or visit the official Telegram Ether Authority. Thanks for watching and God bless. You.